Please. All right. So I, I just want us to lay a foundation on something here. Yes, yes. So that, uh, you know, you began with a statement that we are finishing on a high. Yes. And, uh, you know, most of the time, mm -hmm. at times God's people think these things are things that us who preach just keep on saying. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like uh, yeah, one of those cliches, uh, cliches and, and Christianese. And Christianese. <laughs> so I want us to look at Haggai. Yes. Uh, I don't know when our listener first read the book of uh, lastly read the book of Haggai. Haggai. Hey. <laughs> okay. Let's look at Haggai chapter number two, uh, and I, I we are going to start with verse seven. Mm -hmm. We look we look at seven, mm -hmm. eight, and nine. We are doing everything at a go today, right? Yes. All right. He says, <laughs> now, hear what the Lord is saying. Mm -hmm. uh, verse 7, this is New King James. He says, and I will shake all nations, mm. and they shall come to the desire of all nations. And now, wow. if, uh, if it was a Bible teaching service, yes. we would take some time to discover. He says, if you know it in your Bible, woman of God, yes. the word desire starts with a capital D. Mm. Wow, wow. And the all of after desire, yes, it's a capital, capital D. And N2 is a capital. So wow. the desire of all nations there is mm. Jesus Christ. Wow. So the prophet was speaking of a time that would come mm. when Christ now, yes. and presently we are the body of that Christ, yes. we are the representation of that Christ, yes. would become the desire of all nations. Wow. Is what wow. Isaiah, okay, we'll see something in Isaiah okay. so that we connect <laughs> it so that someone understands. Yes. So he says, I will shake all nations and all the nations shall come to the desire of all nations and the desire of all nations there is christ and his body Amen. his church right yes. then he says and then i will fill this temple with glory says the lord of hosts Host. now if you are keen yeah. what he is saying there yes. is that he will bring such a glory in his body yes to an extent that the, the church of Christ Jesus, who is you and I, individually yes. and corporately, will become the desire of all nations. Wow. Wow. So wow. meaning, wow. it's you take it, for example, you, you are in the mountain of media. Yes. Is that the Lord raises and awakens such a glory within you mm. that in the mountain of media, yeah. when people need to have a point of reference, yes. they have to use you in the name of wow. Jesus. So you wow. become the desire wow. of all nations. You see, these are some of those prophetic realities and mm. heritages that I believe uh, yeah. the church of Jesus needs to awaken unto in these last days. Mm. Now, something close, closely need to that one so that someone can see it yes. is in the book of, uh, let's take the Isaiah one is the one which is easy. It's in Isaiah okay. chapter 2 from verse number 1 to verse 4 and it's in Micah chapter 4 from verse number 2. But let's take the Isaiah one. Okay. Isaiah chapter number 2. So that we just fuse the two and then we'll be back to Haggai to pick the prayer point, yes? Okay. okay. All right. Mm. Isaiah chapter number two, uh, when you look at verse number one, he says the word that the word this is in KJV, the word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, so concerning Judah and Jerusalem. Then he says, Now it shall come to pass in the latter days, mm. KJV will say in the last days, yes. that the mountain of the Lord's house or temple mm. shall be established on the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills now look at the next thing yes and all nations shall flow to wow. it wow amen then he says many people shall come and say come and let us go to the up to the mountain of the lord mm. to the house of the god of jacob then look at the next thing that will happen he that god of jacob will teach us his ways mm. and we shall walk in his paths for out of zion that's the church of jesus yes. shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Now, mm. I wanted someone to understand yes. that uh, as we are going about our day this day, mm. God desires that we, in everything we may be in, we may come to a place of relevance and influence, that, uh, that uh, we may be, in everything we are in, we may be the ones who are trailblazing and setting Amen. the standards. He says that Amen. we are to become the desire of all nations. Wow. So people, you see, he says, I will shake all nations. Mm. And you know, I love that language. I will yes. shake all nations. So this is for someone who is asking, uh, is this vision of mine going to go global? Mm. Then God tells you there is a glory that makes for that one. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So I feel one of God, part of what God is doing in crowning our week and crowning yes. our studies for the week yes. is that he is pulling us to a deeper experience of him. Wow. So yeah. this morning he is beckoning us to that place of he is saying, you have seen my expression mm. this way. You have seen this much of me. But this morning there is much more that I'm calling you yes. unto. Mm. So back in that uh, Haggai chapter number two, now with that understanding, it should make sense. Yes. From verse number seven, he says, and I will shake all nations 
and the nation shall come to the desire of all nations and we have said the desire there is christ and his church yes. and i will fill this temple with glory says the lord of hosts then verse 8 and 9 says the silver is mine so provision is guaranteed yes. in this realm of glory Amen. and you know man of god yes. when you study on uh, the glory of god yes. from genesis to revelation mm. one of the most interesting thing you keep on discovering yes. is that everywhere there was glory mm. there was abundance Wow, yeah. Everywhere wow. there was glory. Yeah. There was prosperity, there was abundance. Wow. So when yeah. we say he is the glorious father. Yes. In a way we are saying he is the more than enough father. Wow. Amen. He is the God of abundance. Mm. And I believe what God is doing to us yes. as he is seasoning our hearts yes. is that he is beckoning us to that place yeah. of experiencing his glory. Now not just in form of wind, mm -mm. dust and all those expressions, yes. but he is bringing us to a place where we will know that silver is his gold is his mm. and he says now because silver and gold is his and it's you know for me yeah. this is a very interesting portion of scripture mm. as a teacher of the word yes. because uh he speaks of filling the house with glory then between verse 7 and verse number 9 he introduces yeah. silver and gold mm. by the way <laughs> Wow. So wow. he says, the silver is mine yeah. and the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. Then hear what verse number eight says. The glory of this latter temple mm. shall be greater than the former. Meaning, if there is no silver, yes. if there is no gold, gold. Yeah. let the people keep talking of glory. Yeah. The glory will never be greater. Mm. So I believe part of what God is doing in the lives of God's people, man of God, yes. the testimonies you'll be hearing mm. is that God is ushering people to the level of more than bare minimum. Amen. That God is bringing mm. us and planting us in the level of abundance in mm. the name of Jesus. Amen. That God is securing and planting our feet mm. in the level of abundance in the name oh, of Jesus. Jesus. Let me show you something very interesting. Yes. In Genesis chapter 49. Wow. This is a digression. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Genesis chapter 49. Uh, all right. I want you to see something very, 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 very interesting. Mm. Um, in verse 25, first, first we look at it, verse, we look at verse number 25. Mm. Genesis 49, verse 25. Yes. I want you to hear something he says. Mm -hmm. By the God of your father. Who will help you? Actually, let's start with verse number 24. Okay, uh, okay 22. It's all right. <laughs> 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 he says, yes. Joseph is a fruitful bough. Mm. A fruitful bough by a well. His branches run over the wall. Wow. His mm. branches run over the wall. Mm. You see the kind of uh, yes. fruitfulness we are talking about, yes. the Belkani, mm. is where now you move from just the influence in your nation. Yes. Mm. You become the desire of all nations. Amen. Are you seeing now how yes. these things are related? Yes. Then he says, the archers have bitterly grieved him. They have shot at him and hated him. Now look at verse 24. Mm -hmm. But his bow remained in strength. Wow. And the arms of his hands were made strong mm. by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. From there is the shepherd, the stone of Israel. Mm. Then he says, by the God of your father who will help you and by the almighty who will bless you with blessings of heaven above, mm. blessings of the deep that lies beneath, blessings of the breast and of the womb. Mm. The blessings of your father have excelled the blessings of my ancestors up to the utmost bound of the everlasting hill. They shall be on the head of Joseph and on the crown of the head of him who was separate from his brothers. Now, mm. I want wanted us to see something there woman of god yes. that when as god you know you know you know i just digressed and yes. i believe it's god answering yes, someone it's true when uh, when uh, when god blesses us and when he begins to cause us to walk in a higher glory yes. he is saying that our branches begin to go over the wall mm. and this morning we understand is that we begin to become the desire of all nations yes. but now he says as we go to these nations if that concept of Joseph is anything, yeah. the father, the man of God, Israel is prophesying and saying that these nations will fight him. Mm. So opposition awaits you in your diversifying, yeah, yeah. in your increase and in your multiplication. Yeah. But he says there is a God who will be helping you. Wow. So your bow will remain strong. Mm. 
and then he says and your hands which are meant to shoot the arrows yes. he says they will still be strengthened by your father yeah. so this morning i believe it's for someone yes. who is just preparing for their first mm. diversifying into nations wow. this is for someone Amen. who is trusting god for their first export for yes. their first import Amen. this is for someone who is trusting god for a relocation to a new nation Amen. hear the word of the lord this morning mm. god is saying that do not fear the opposition that mm. they may try to bring you away he says this morning he supplies you with a new strength yes. because you are meant to be the desire of all nations mm. so you have been holding back you have been timid you have been fearful yes. you have been saying what to become of me when i go to these nations the over mm. heathen hear the word of the lord he is saying receive new strength this Amen. morning Amen. because you see woman of god yes. if we would not speak of the global perspective yes. under the global mandate of believers yes. i don't think we'll have finished our prayers effectively no. so there is someone holding back and you know right now there are lots of negative news someone yes. is saying if i go there i'll be mm. killed i have heart but yeah. hear the word of the lord he is saying your bow will remain strong Amen. and then he is saying he will strengthen your hands Amen. now when you look at uh, isaiah 49 we just take two minutes there yes. one of god yes. then we'll be back to our course <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> when you look at isaiah 49 uh, i want us to read something very interesting so that someone can see what god has in store for them Amen. isaiah 49 and I want you to look at verse number verse. And yesterday, woman of God, yes. I met so many people yes. in Nyandairo, yes. and they told me to say hi to you. Amen. And they hi. said they are being blessed amen. every morning. Amen. Amen. And amen. amen. All right. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So I just remembered. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Isaiah chapter number forty-nine. Yes. When you look at verse number verse number verse number six. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, let's take it from verse number five. Mm. Uh, and let's look at something like the message bible he says and now god says this god who took me in hand from the moment of birth to be his servant mm. to bring jacob back home to him to set a reunion for israel now look at it what an honor for me in god's eyes yes. that god should be my strength wow. Then God says, but that's not big enough job for my servant. You put your name there, just fire. Mm-hmm. Just to recover the tribes of Jacob, Mary to up the streets of Israel. Now, my emphasis is part B of that, verse 6. Yes. I am setting you up as a light for the nations. Wow. Oh, wow. Amen. So that my salvation becomes global. Wow. Ooh. Amen. I am setting Amen. you up yeah. as a light for the nations. Yeah. So that my salvation becomes global. global. So, woman of God, this is a word to someone this morning. Yes. So, you have been toying with an application. Mm. You are meant Mm. to click send, but you have been holding back. And you are asking what will become of me as I walk Mm. into these new spaces. Hear the word of the Lord this morning. He says he has not just set up for the nation, you up for the nation of Kenya. Mm. He says he has set you up as a light for the nations. And then he says through the work of your hands in those mountains of influence, he says salvation will go global. Amen. What's running Amen. in your heart, woman of God? Hey, hey. <laughs> I am just amazed. <laughs> I had never seen it like that. Wow, wow. Continue, my Okay. Wow. All right. So, so someone, this is a word <laughs> to you. Yeah. And uh, you know, I have discovered after walking with God closely mm. for some time, I discovered God will always be saying certain specific things to people who come with desires and longings. Wow. So, someone is already receiving a witness yes. that make the application mm. right now. After wow. these pl- prayers, click the send of that button. Amen. He is setting you up wow. as a light for as a light up for nations, yes. so that through you His salvation may be may go global. global. All right. Now wow. look at uh, just before we go back to 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 to, to Haggai. Yes. Let's go to Isaiah chapter number sixty, so that we are done with that subject. Okay. All right. So in Isaiah chapter number sixty. Uh, when you look at verse number verse number one, verse number two, and verse number three, mm. we just look at it in the message. You know, message has a very, I yes. feel it's like the way we talk to each <laughs> other. True. The language is so easy. Yes. You know, KJVP, thou. <laughs> he says, get out of bed, Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. Wake up, put your face in the sunlight. Ooh. Now, that one I can teach for so long. Wow. Just that he says, get up jerusalem jerusalem is a city of peace yes. jerusalem is a city mm. of abundance yes so he's talking of you and i then he says wake up and the waking up is not literal Mm-mm. the waking up is awakening to the light of god wow 
is allow the revelation light to come in yes so for example this morning Mm. the waking up is arising to the fact that i'm meant for global influence Mm. that's the waking up that we are talking of this morning so he says wake up then he says put your face on the sunlight Mm. that's the place of visibility yes so someone has been holding back i don't want to market my Mm -mm. stuff the battles are too hard. Yeah. I don't want to go to a higher office. Mm-hmm. I don't want to challenge myself to a new space. God oh is my. saying, wake up this morning. Put your face. It's you who is doing it. Yeah. Put your face in the sunlight. Then look at the next thing. He says, God's bright glory mm. has risen for, for you. you. Wow. Now, wow. you know, message gets it in a very interesting way because it says, God's bright glory has risen yeah. for Mm. we are used to NKJV on, uh, on yeah. now I'll tell you why I like 4 yes. 4 is telling me that the moment I make a decision to wake up yes. and arise to my, my global mandate mm. there is a glory that awaits to announce me wow wow <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so this is what is doing as a woman of God. Yes. So someone is being told by God, the moment you click send of that email, mm. there is a bright glory yeah. awaiting you. That's what now God is saying to us this mm. morning. Then he says, the whole earth is wrapped up in darkness. Mm. All people are sunk in deep darkness, but God rises on you. Okay. So your case becomes different. Yeah. But God rises on you. His sunrise glory breaks over you. Mm. Amen. His sunrise glory breaks over you. So as you arise, yeah. there is a glory that is breaking over yeah. someone this morning. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Then he says, nations will come to your light. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Amen. Then he says, kings to your sunburst brightness. Mm. Then he says, look up, look around. Watch as they gather. Watch as they approach you. Wow. This is a prophetic word wow. to someone, yes. woman of God. Mm. Amen. So someone Amen. has been holding their passport. Mm. And every time they look at it, they say, I don't need to apply for that visa. Mm. God is speaking to you this morning. Wow. He's saying, wake up. Mm. Arise. There is God's glory that has risen for you. Yes. There, there are sunrise of sunrise rays of the glory of mm. God that are waiting to shine in your favor. Yes. All you need this morning is to be strengthened Amen. in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. All you need this morning mm. is to make that bold move of faith. Yes. Is to take that risky move a step of faith mm. in the name of Jesus. Jesus. You know, part of what people don't understand, woman of God, yes. is that faith. Is a is a risky affair. Mm, it is. <laughs> and I think I need to mention yes. that one. Yes. Because I mentioned it, it came in my heart. Go to Mark chapter number five. Okay. Wow. Where? Well, I need to pray. <laughs> <laughs> Mark chapter number five. Yes. Uh as we look at the story of the woman with the issue of blood, I, I want you to hear something verse verse number thirty four. Jesus said in the message so that someone can just hear. Mm-hmm. He says, Jesus said to her, Daughter, you took a risk of faith. And now you are healed and whole. Wow. Oh my. You took a risk risk. of faith. And now you are healed and whole. Live well. Live blessed. And be healed of your plague. So this morning, man of God. God is saying to someone. Mm. My daughter, my son. Mm. Take the risk of faith. Amen. Your glory is on the other side. Wow. So just fire. Stop holding back. Mm. Take your step of faith. Amen. Karen was just fire. Amen. Don't hold back. <laughs> take a bold mm. step of faith. Woman of God, Barbara, Amen. take a risk of faith. Amen. This is what God is saying this morning. Mm. So wow. people are praying, I want to see the glory of God. Mm. Then God is telling you, yeah. there is a higher glory. Mm. You know, the reason, uh, you know, for me, idolatry yes. is not just erecting something uh, of worship. Yeah. For me, idolatry too is also when uh, you refuse to open up to the newness of God. Oh my. So you so yeah. become with a customized, mm. with a certain, certain understanding of God yeah. that even when he beckons you into mm. a new experience, mm. you say, ah, ah stuck you. Mm-mm. This one, <laughs> ah, ah, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey. oh. But there is always freshness with him. Yes. And he is saying now, as we take that risk of faith, we are healed. Amen. We are made whole. Yeah. We live well. We live blessed. And we are delivered from all mm-hmm. plagues in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. So this morning, mm. I believe, and let's let's take a prayer point that is connected to that. Then mm. we'll hear the prayer points we have, woman Amen. of God. Yes. We'll be back to continue with our series. <laughs> <laughs> I believe God has done the huge chunk of uh, of of what He wanted uh, He wanted us to do this wow, morning. Wow. Job chapter number twenty two. Yes. Let's go back to that one. Okay. Job chapter number twenty two. 
I want you to look at verse number 21 in the message. It's such a connected word, such an assurance from what we are doing here. Mm-hmm. He says, give in to God. Give in to God. Come to terms with Him. So this morning, you have been holding this stand. Mm. So you keep dreaming, you keep having visions, prophetic yeah. words keep coming, mm. impression. Even mm. right now, you know you are the one God yeah. is talking to. <laughs> and you're still saying, what if? What if? God what is what saying, if? give in to God. Wow. Then he says, come to terms. This is this is uh, Job 22 from verse number 22 in the Message Bible. Mm. Give in to God, come to terms with Him, and everything will turn out just fine. Wow. You Amen. see, most of the time when people Amen. are holding back, yeah. they say, I have an, an, an unspoken fear. It's true. I carry a fear of the unknown. Yeah. But God is telling you, things turn out just fine mm. when you give in to Him and you come to terms with Him. 